Hi guys, back again with another video. Now in this video, we're going to do the Bluetooth pairing test of the Jabra Elite 85T. Now uh, I'm going to uh, pair this with the iPhone and the Android phone and then we'll be seeing the functions on both of them. We'll be seeing if uh, it's going to be the same, uh, is there going to be any difference uh, and uh, we'll be looking at the dual pairing option. So let's go ahead and start the pairing. Now let's start the pairing with the uh, Android device first. So to pair it, all you have to do is take this out from the box and keep it pressed for three seconds. So this is uh, not a touch control one, this is a button. So keep it pressed for three seconds and then you will see this blue light blinking. That's it, it's in pairing mode. Now we can go on to our Android device. Uh, go on to our Android device, go into the Bluetooth settings and we can search for it. So it's available here. You can directly connect it from here. Okay, pair and it's done. Okay, so now this is connected. Now let's see the software. Now in the software, it'll say that it's connected and it'll give you all these options. So over here, you have the options of uh, controlling your active noise cancellation. Now you see this slider, okay. So you have one, two, three, four. Four settings for active noise cancelling. Uh, then you have here through, which allows the outside noise to come in, also uh, it's sound to come in and then off. So then you have your uh, custom equalizer and then you have presets. So you can actually create your own presets. I've created a lot of them. Then you have the option of uh, pink noise, nature, comfort, all these kind of sounds. So if you want to hear ocean waves or rainy sound or song, I mean bird songs and stuff, uh, all those things you can uh, activate from here. So that's also a good option. I don't really use it, but that option is there in case you want it. Uh, then uh, over here, it gives you uh, three settings, focus, commute, my moment so you can actually customize each one of them and then uh, like when you're outside you uh, you're commuting you want that then it'll automatically go into here through you can actually customize this also and then save it now if you see if i move it then i get an option to save then it'll be saved now settings you have the option to upgrade your firmware headset settings gives you audio experience setting where you can actually change uh, uh, what all settings you want over here so, uh, should the uh, mic be muted uh, should it play music continue playing music all these kind of a lot of different settings here call experience settings you have a lot of them there headset configuration you have option to configure the headset also and then uh, you have option of personalizing your headset where you can actually name the headset, uh, control the fit. So this actually is a good option. This is available on uh, expensive ones. Actually, the, even this is expensive. So uh, like uh, the AirPods and the other uh, uh, expensive earbuds, they actually check the seal of your ear. This one does that too. And it can customize your sound also. So uh, with age, your hearing uh, capacity changes. Uh, you may not be able to hear some frequencies. So this will test what all frequency you can hear and then accordingly create a custom profile for you. So that's a good option, which is not generally available on uh, other earphones. Uh, and then control. So you can actually uh, choose what uh, the button should do. So you have single press, double press and triple press. That's it. You don't have any other option. Uh, if you keep it pressed, it will just uh, go off or go into the pairing mode. So those are the options. So that's how you do this. Rest everything is regular to register your device, find my uh, Jabra and yes, the voice assistant. So you, you have uh, the Android default and uh, Alexa. So you can actually choose uh, which one you want. So that's the option on Android. Now let's go into the iPhone. Let's close this. Keep this aside. Now, if I want to pair it here again, I'll have to put it into pairing mode. I'll keep it pressed for three seconds. And it's in pairing mode again. Now on the iPhone. Okay. So on the iPhone, uh, we'll have to go into settings and then search. We'll find the headset there. I'll choose that. Hopefully you can see that. And it's connected. Now I can just go ahead and open the Sound Plus app and it's done. 
So this is how it looks like. It's exactly the same as the Android one. So I don't have to show this again. Uh, you have the same options. Now it actually remembers. So I actually changed the settings on commute on the Android one that uh, that is saved in the headset. So you see that same setting has come up over here. So that's something good. Now you go into settings, you have the same options. So you don't have anything less here. So all of them are the same. Now, uh, okay, one more thing that I wanted to show you. Now, does this do dual pairing? Now we connected it over here. Now let me try connecting it back here onto this one. Okay, Elite 85T. Now you see it's connected here and it's still connected over here. So this is a dual pairing headset. So that's something which I really like. So it does dual pairing, which is actually quite useful. Uh, so you can connect it with two phones. You can connect it with a phone and a laptop and you can simultaneously use that. So you can switch between both of them. So that's something which I really liked. So that's how you pair it. Uh, if you have any further queries, you can go ahead, contact me. My information is available in the description and at the end of the video. And if you want to see the same video in a different language like Hindi or Malayalam, I have two other channels. I'll be putting the link in the description too. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye bye.